Hello everyone and welcome to my walkthrough of The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass on the Nintendo DS. Because I took so long to start this thing, let's just get it going right now. <laughs> so it's gonna create a new fancy save file for me. Oh yes, so shiny and bright and clean and awesome. Okay, so new game and they're gonna ask me my name, but well, my name is PK Gam, but for the sake of the walkthrough, no, it's a oof. it's Link because well, it'll change the dialogue in the game to refer to your character as Link, which is the character's name, and thus Link is Link. <laughs> yes, it is perfectly fine, and uh, depending on which way you hold it, it doesn't really matter and all that. Uh, in all honesty, even though that maybe it's a little bit easier in the left hand because your right hand would then be next to the start and select button a little bit easier, but I'm right-handed, so yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Let's get this game started with the adventure mode. Ooh, fancy. Our story begins not long ago, on the open seas, apparently. There was a young girl, savvy to the seas, and head of a band of pirates. Her name was Tetra. She was pretty, brash, and brave. Indeed she was. <laughs> If you know the game, you know that. Tetra and her handsome pirate set out to explore the vast and unfamiliar seas. One day on a stop at an island, Tetra met a young boy dressed in green. Who could it be? Who could it be? After a series of strange events, the two began traveling together. These are very cute illustrations, by the way. <laughs> They found old ruins and light enveloped Tetra. At once, she transformed into a beautiful princess. Her line is traced back to an ancient ruined kingdom. She was Princess Zelda of the Kingdom of Hyrule. Oh man, already a plot twist. Just then, a huge ominous king appeared. Oh no, definitely ominous. Just look at that black coloration of doom of shadows and he carried Princess Zelda away. Oh no! Help me, Link! The evil king sought the sacred power passed down to Hyrulean princesses. He schemed to take the power and use it himself. Well, that is kind of what evil people do in games, yeah. <laughs> the boy chased after him, determined to save the princess. Dot, dot, dot. The boy crossed seas and climbed mountains. The journey was perilous. He slayed evil monsters and used their power to become a true hero. Yes. After long and hard adventuring, he defeated the evil king. Of course, that's just what heroes do. Except in Ocarina of Time split timeline. <laughs> And beautiful Princess Zelda was rescued at last. Woohoo! Later, the two set out with the brave pirate crew in search of new lands. Yes, they set sail together! Woohoo! A happy pirate ending! Even though pirates are, you know, like, rather brutal. Hey, you look incredibly familiar. So what did you think of my amazing paper cutouts? <laughs> so uh, if you want to tap through the dialogue, you just tap on the screen anywhere. Did you guess that Tetra was really Princess Zelda? Hey, Link, are you sleeping, Swabby? Yeah, yeah, kinda. I, I'm, I had a bad night. Link! <laughs> Link! <laughs> just too long of a story. Oh, look at that! It's Tetra so It's amazing! Oh, man! <laughs> <laughs> hmm? Ho? Oh? Ho oh, oh? Stop messing around down there! You're both supposed to be on lookout! Oh, so still so tired though! Oh, need sleepies! Ha! Some legendary hero you are! I believe you saved me from the evil king! 
<laughs> Princess Zelda, you're nearly at that spot in the sea! Woohoo! Uh, what spot? I told you not to call me Zelda! Tetra worked just fine before, you know. <laughs> ah, enough about that. So this is where the ghost ship is said to appear? Stay on the lookout for a creepy looking ship. That would be pretty hard to miss in all honesty. Are you sure this is a good idea? What about those ships that have gone missing? I say the ghost ship is behind all of it. That's right, Nico. Every ship disappears. And it's all because of that scary ghost ship. Ghosts? <laughs> hey, hey, Tetra! They say these seas are protected, yeah? There's something about a spirit called the Ocean King. Wouldn't a spirit like that protect the ships? Unless there really is an evil ghost ship. Don't be ridiculous. There's no such thing as a ghost ship. I bet it's just some pirates up to no good. Yeah, what, when have legends ever come true in video games? I'll expose them as a bunch of frauds and remind them that there are rules to being pirates. I doubt there is really an Ocean King anyway. Oh, okay, I, I woke up. I woke up. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Getting spooky. Hey, look. The air feels chilly. Eerie, even. I say we take a detour around this creepy place. They could be so scared. We're here to see the world, not take detours. Ship ahoy! Okay, where's the ship? Gotta see the ship. Turn the camera around, please. Tetra, I can see a ship. Yeah, a ship up ahead. All right, let's see. Uh oh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, uh. Oh, uh, the music. The music is so. It's scary. It's. Frightening and oh, I'm wetting myself a little bit here. Um, I I might have to pause to change underwear, but well, we'll we'll see. I guess we'll see. <laughs> so uh, this this ship certainly looks a little uh, a little dark and maybe even haunted. Uh, yeah, the, it's the ghost ship. These waters really are cursed. And you call yourself a pirate, it's just a ship. But it does look like it could be the ghost ship. There might even be a load of treasure on board. That's it, I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. And she hops all the way over there. Wow, she's got some springboard legs and... Ah! Oh no! What happened? Everyone what their panties to. That's what happened. Hey, wait a second! Wait a second! Come back here! Get that! 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 Eh! 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 Gotta get up to deck and eh, you start! I don't have the grip of Wonder and Shadow of the Colossus. <sighs> lived a little bit there too. <laughs> Save me, Link! Well, well, hopefully I'll be able to save her. Ah! No, not, no, not that, no, not again. No, please, no, no, no. Oh, no! No! Not that sound. Please, no. Why did they reuse that? Please, please tell me it's not the same fairy. Oh, phew, you're awake. You were moving, so I thought you were done for. But it looks like you're going to be okay. Uh, I was just sleeping, don't worry. I'm Celia. Okay, it's not the same fairy. Thank Arceus. You see, I'm a fairy. I was all fluttering around and found you here. What, what happened? Oh, mm -hmm. uh, well, uh, I can't really speak because I'm Link and Link doesn't really speak. I mean, they, they kind of hint that he does speak, but he doesn't really speak and stuff like that. What? A ghost ship? Your friend was taken away by a ghost ship? Ah, uh, so you are following after her, and you got separated from your own ship, huh? Is the ghost ship people... is it the ghost ship people have been talking about? Excuse me. <laughs> they say that it... that those have never... the, the thing has never seen again! Oh. You, you want to know more about the ghost ship? Grandpa will know all about it. 
I lost my memory a long time ago. When I woke up on this beach, Grandpa rescued me. Hmm. A lot of people lose their memory in games, I swear. He's very sweet, so you've got nothing to worry about. A house is up there, off the beach. Come on! All right, let's, uh, um, uh, how, how do you move? I, I would like, like to know. I don't know how to move. Oh, uh, uh can you walk? Tap the direction you want to move with your stylus. Oh, thank you. Okay. That makes sense. Okay. So, yeah, it's basically a stylus controlled game, and the closer you are to, to Link, the slower you will move, and the faster you go, the further will you drag in there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, what I, the first task I'd like you to do here is count the trees on the beach here. Like, just, just get an idea. You know, why do you want to count the trees on the beach here? Well, it's just. Just something for the future. Just something for the future. N namely, these uh, palm trees here. See, I, I see seven on the beach here, so let's just keep that in mind for the future, okay? Just so I don't have to come back here later. <laughs> so let's take a explore around here. Can I sneak through here? Yes, I can! By the way, don't fall in the water. It's, yeah, it's actually gonna take away a heart. <laughs> oh, okay, I will, I will. Yep, that's how it's done. Just tap on people to speak with them. Are tapping on other things like signs and barrels. Okay, how about this chicken? Yes! Ah, 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 ah! I, I suddenly feel a strange and overwhelming power, as if I'm holding the strongest creature in the universe. Okay, I gotta, I gotta put you down. It's, I'm sweating bullets here. Jeez, I'm gonna go in this house and cool down. Whew. Ah, Kuko. Ah, Kuko. I've heard that the gold ship is on the prowl again, stealing more islanders. So very dangerous. Indeed. Indeed. Oh, you're just gonna repeat yourself? Okay. <laughs> Sometimes they have more than one thing to say. And you could pick up stuff by tapping on them, collect rupees. The value of rupees, in those cases, those green ones are one. Uh, it always seems like green are one in games, but the value of rupees in games vary from game to game for some reason. Just can't get that consistent. <laughs> and I'll just break some barrels and let's just go up through here. Oh, wait. not this way. My grandpa's all stood right. Oh, okay. Fine, fine. Well, what's the sign say anyway? Danger! Once you said, oh, good. I'm glad you blocked me from taking that route then because that, that could have been disastrous. Uh, and I think, I think I have explored the great majority of what I can show, because I'm just going to be restricted here, so <laughs> let's just go up to the house that we're supposed to go here, and move on with the game, because I wanted to show you how things are controlled and whatnot, and so I wandered around, and yeah. Hey, how's it going, Grandpa? Solomon Moto, I presume? No, wait, no, you're not. Oh, never mind. Ah, hello, Traveler. So your name is Link. I am Ashus, and I live on this island. Celia told me all about what happened to you. Uh, what? How, how she was with me the whole time? And I forget it. I also hear your friend was taken by the ghost ship. I understand that you want to find the ghost ship, but you must not. Why is that bad? But Grandpa, what are you saying? Link's friend was carried away. A pure evil fills the sails of the ghost ship. It roams the seas in search of victims to capture, and no one has ever escaped from it. It's best if you stay far away from that ghost ship. No, to seek out that ship is to seek out your doom. That is why we have to do something, Grandpa. Oh, mercy. <sighs> what to do, what to do. Hmm. You're not going to give up, are you? Never! Young people these days, I swear, in the fancy cars and electronic devices. There's a port to the east of here. A sailor by the name of Lineback should be there. He'll be, he'll be willing to tell you more about the ghost ship. Look at your map. The harbor is here. Okay. You mean that guy you came to visit, Grandpa? He asked about the ghost ship. I remember him. I almost think you show him who he is. Okay, okay. It's okay, right, Grandpa? Mm-hmm. Yes. I don't see why you can't go along. I'm sure you can help Link. Uh, well, could you please not use the Navi voice? Please, thank, th thank you. Thank you, Grandpa. Let's go, Link. Alrighty. Go, go, go! She's always been antsy, that one. Now, Link, lately there have been many monster sightings. 
I gave in to you and told you about Lineback, but you be careful out there. All right, all right, all right. So, back under control. Actually, let's see what LC has to say here. Make way to the port right here on your map. But don't get it over here. Seek me out if you need a helping hand. You're gonna just gonna repeat yourself if I ask you again, aren't you? Yep, yep, of course you are. So, even if I want a helping hand right now, I can't get a helping hand. See, you lied to me. You lied to me, and thus I am going to destroy the entirety of your house. Well... At least as much of it as I can, because I can't really do much beyond destroying the pots and barrels. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's move on here. Maybe, maybe I'll go over here. I'll, I'll just kind of... Well, no, nah, actually, maybe I'll go over to the bridge and see what's up. <laughs> it's happening! What's it happening? Another earthquake? So many quakes lately, so many monsters. Bad signs for sure, and I bet there are even worse things to come. Hmm. Hmm. To the ports! Well, this is the place I want to go. And, oh! Uh-oh. This place, the, the bridge, the way it collapses, looks ridiculous in, in my opinion. The way it's just kind of sticking up out of the water, yeah. <laughs> oh, heavens, that quake just broke the bridge again. So many quakes lately, and the Bridge breaks every time there's one. Oh, that's a poorly built bridge. This is the second way to go to get to town, unfortunately. Uh, unfortunately, it leads to a frightening game full of monsters. So, uh, what to do? Well, wait for the bridge to be fixed, of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I figured. And what's up the bush? <laughs> Having some texture issues, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> hmm. It's kind of, it's, it sometimes happens at that angle I'm at towards things and whatnot. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Well, whatever. <laughs> it's fine. Only some hap happen to do that. I don't know why. <laughs> All right. So the path, the path. Let's go through here and, uh, well, well, um, the monsters, look out, Link. It's way too dangerous. You just have to defend yourself with. You have to go back. We do? I mean, they don't seem that dangerous, I can just kind of walk around them and... Yeah, I mean, what's what's really over here? I mean, I, I, I don't really think the monster... Oh, I can't get through there, there's trees. Well, I definitely need something then to get through that. So we're gonna have to go back through here a little bit later, I guess, maybe. Might be kinda... Perhaps... Maybe. By the way, I just kind of sped things up here. If I would've went through the grandpa, you would've said not to take that path and... Yeah. <laughs> Tried the path to the north, did you? Celia, don't pretend you forgot I told you never to go that way. We've seen so many quakes around the island lately, Link, and monsters have never have been seen closer and closer to town. Be cautious, young ones. That cave up north leads to the port. It's true, but that path will be crawling with monsters. Don't even think of it. I'm sure someone will get around to repairing the bridge. Yeah, he says that no matter what. Uh, whether you go to him first or take the path, I just wanted to show you that. Uh, you can see that for yourself. Yeah, if you'd like to on your playthrough, just saying. Uh, got anything else to say? Uh, no, you're just gonna repeat yourself. All right. <laughs> so okay, someone's got to repair that bridge, but uh, that's that's probably gonna take a while. Well, Grandma wants us to stay out of trouble, but we need to find your friend. If you only found the sword, then you could show those monsters. Hmm. Wonder where a sword could be. I wonder. Well, this bridge is definitely not fixed. Yet, hmm, hmm, well, what we could do in the meantime, I guess, is explore around here, because there's actually going to be something that you're going to see, and it's kind of funny, over on this side after the quake happens. Yeah, I will tap on you again, because there's something different here. Uh-huh, anyway, I've just had a bit of bad luck in my garden here, that quake just heaved a bunch of rocks into the middle of my patch, I don't know how that happened. Would you mind moving them? Simply tap on a rock to pick it up, then tap where you want to throw it. Yeah, this is another sort of tutorial going on here, and if you clean up his rocks, he will give you a prize! Yes! Uh, I want that. <laughs> Thanks a plenty. You really helped me out there. It's not much, but here's something for your trouble. Please, I insist. Whoa! Um. Well, yeah, that's that's really not much whatsoever. Um. Do you got anything else, like a sandwich or something? What's this dirty luck? Think I'm a cheapskate? <laughs> Fine. Here's a hot tip. Look at your map. There's a tree on that spot. Go bash it really hard. I recommend that you jot it down on your map before you forget it. Go to menu. Hit map. And, uh, just doodle something on your map. Yeah, you can actually doodle on your map in this game. Look at that! It's amazing! It's so awesome! Woohoo! And I'm just gonna... 
I, I don't know. I, I maybe bash. I'll write on here. B a s h right there. I guess that's good enough. To <laughs> just to remember that I need to smack that tree like no one's business. Okay. Okay, <laughs> so, uh, so what am I gonna do here? It doesn't appear there's anything like in around here, so maybe I'll just do a little more exploring around these parts, and maybe we'll be- Oh, a cave! What is this over here? I might as well check this out, because, you know, why not? I just went in with the barrel. <laughs> I didn't actually mean to do that, but yeah, that's something you can do. And I'll just kind of destroy this cave. I don't know how all these rocks are so crumbly, it's- yeah, it's kind of weird. <laughs> and the barrels, everything in this game is pretty, pretty weak, except for the tables and houses and stuff like that. Anyway, let's just see here. I Grandpa uses this cave as a storehouse. I think I remember Grandpa storing a sword back there. Now, how to get this door open? I remember he cracks open the door by writing a number on that sign. I think he says the number of palm trees on the beach! Sneaky! Yeah, that's why I said to count the trees on the beach earlier on there. Uh, there's puzzles like this all through the game. There's always seven trees on the beach. Just so I would do a nice little explanation of notes everything. <laughs> I like what he says there. So, write the number seven on the board, and it will forever be etched into the sign through the game for all of eternity. Yeah, you can actually see your own handwriting detail on the sign there. It's nice. It's beautiful. It's awesome. Just like these pots, which Link always has a tendency of smashing in games. I don't know why. It's just kind of, kind of his habit. Uh, oh, hello there, Sword Basics. Is a Silas is angry sword. Tapping and drawing lines quickly is the key to deaf sword play. Oh, well, that's... That's not very much, but let's see what's in this chest. Is this the, That's the only thing he carries in his storehouse. Well, that uh, that works. <laughs> you found the sword. Oh, we shouldn't tell Grandpa we're taking it. He worried himself sick. Good for us, though. Now we can defend ourselves from those monsters. Yay! Indeed. And now, for some reason, the barrel in front of the door is not going to reset, but other barrels will. <laughs> You two are proving to be quite a handful. This is not my sword. What do you plan on doing with that? Grandpa, I'm sorry. We just had to. We can't abandon this kidnapped friend. We can't wait for the bridge. Yes, I understand. But you, I can't just let you go. Not without showing you how to handle that sword. I'll teach you how to handle it. Meet me at my house, Link. Okay. And we're transported right here. <laughs> I didn't mean to swing my sword at you. I'm sorry. I wanted to tap you. <laughs> Link. So you have a sword. Then know that even the best swords can be bad, if mishandled, that is. So I must teach you the basics of swordplay. Let's begin with the targeted attack. I'm going to bring out some targets for sword practice. Far safer than real throws. That's true. Just tap a target and lock on to lock on and close in for the attack. Try it now. All right, tap, 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 tap. Yeah. Excellent. The targeted attack is the most basic of attacks. Use it well. Now for the side slash. When you find it hard to lock on enemies, use the side slash instead. Just sketch a line that divides you and your target to slash at it. This move requires little practice. Simply sketch to slash. So yeah, basically stand in between what you want to slash, slash between it, and you'll slash, yeah. <laughs> and ooh, yeah! Looks like you fully understand the side slash. You can also use it to slash several things at once. Remember it well. Yeah, you're gonna have to switch between those two, despite what it may seem initially, because there's different foes that are affected differently, and it's easier to hit things with different attacks, and yeah, you'll, you'll see as I go. And finally, we have the spin attack. This thing, this is really handy here. Slide the Silas in a circle around yourself to spin attack, Link! Alright, and you can even use this to destroy two at once! Yes! <laughs> Superb, I can teach you nothing more. Now you must swim on your own as you venture out among the monsters. But if you do have any problems, return here and speak with me. Now let's just ask again here, see? Good, no, don't go overboard out there. Okay, so he doesn't have any anything else to say, which is weird. <laughs> Despite, again, saying you have problems, come to him to for help, but... No, 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 he's not, not really gonna do that. Anyway, you can cut stuff with your sword, it's pretty nice, it's delightful, you can get some deliciousness inside there, like hearts to recover your health and all sorts of stuff, you'll, you'll be able to see as we go. So, choo-choo's here, just tap them with your sword, they're like little tutorial enemies of sorts because they're really easy to defeat. And uh, look at this, we can cut the trees now, yes, we can make progress through the world, and we can also 
Attack this weird bouncy rock thing. <laughs> what do I do? A somersault? Scribble tiny circles at the very edges of your screen. Roll into that big tree there and see what shakes loose. Roll too much over and you'll get dizzy. Uh, I don't think I have the room here to get dizzy, but I will show you the tiny circles. Uh, 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 it's kind of hard to do though in the... Yeah, there we go! <laughs> and yeah, we got a red rupee! Delightful! And now we can get through these trees! Also delightful! And we can go into this cave and explore it! So, oh, little audio glitch there, but whatever! <laughs> but uh, as for exploring this cave, I think what I'm going to do is explore it in the next part. So I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you then! Ooh, spooky music!